Hey guys, this is Rad and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Today I have created a working Newton's Cradle in vanilla Minecraft 1.12. Before starting, what is a Newton's Cradle? A Newton's Cradle is a device that demonstrates conservation of momentum and energy using a series of swinging spheres. Oh, I love Wikipedia, it makes me look so smart. Alright, I guess less Wikipedia and a bit more Minecraft for today. So yeah, as I said guys, I have recreated a Newton's Cradle in vanilla Minecraft 1.12 using a bit of command blocks. Well. Not really a bit, because there are so many of them, I mean, look at how big this line of command blocks is, it took me quite a while to make it, but at the end, I made it. And don't worry, it's not like it looks like now, because I have to activate it. So the way I activate it, I go here, I right click, and as you can see, I have basically activated the, let's call it in quotation marks, the device. So, as you can see, it works just like a real-life Newton's Cradle, and the momentum is transferred through, in this case, we don't have spheres, because we are in Minecraft, but we have slime blocks. Sli actually, not slime blocks, actual slime mobs. So, <laughs> alright, so let's just say that you want to stop it, because this thing here will go infinitely, it will never stop, un unless, of course, you want to stop it. To stop it, you just obstruct this ball here. And it should stop, as you can see it stopped. I have a cool trick that you can do also like in real life. So in real life, if you take two of these balls here and you um, drop them together, uh, in this case the momentum will be transferred to the last two balls of the cradle. And that's what I have recreated also in Minecraft. So let's say that we want to have a two balls thing going on. I have to right click here. And in this case, two balls of the cradle will be uh, pushed by the momentum. So yeah guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this command creation and before starting to comment, uh, oh, Seth Link already did it in Minecraft like two years ago or how much time ago, well, this is different and the one that Seth Link made was, I think it was a joke, it didn't actually work and uh, I don't even know if it was possible to do something like this because I don't think that Minecraft even had the slash entity data motion command. So yeah, now as you might guess, this thing here works thanks to the entity data command motion and there are a lot of coin blocks going on in the background for example there are different scoreboards there are timers every time that that timer is reset these balls here actually these um uh, these small slime slimes here they get a uh, motion effect and then there are other stuff going on that I'm not going to explain it, but if you want guys, I will leave a download link of this world on my webpage, which is linked in the description of this video. And you can try it for yourself, you can take a look at the commands, even if there are so many of them. I didn't count them, but from what I see, I think that there are at least 60, not maybe 60, maybe 50 command blocks, at least 50 command blocks that make this thing work. Again, if you want to stop it, you just obstruct this ball here and it should work. Now when you are going to right click, if you go uh, really quickly in game mode 3, you can see that there is a villager here, this is uh, for right click detection, and a villager here. So basically, if you want to swing only one of the balls, you right click, you go close to that villager, and oh yeah, you make sure that you don't obstruct the slime ball, so you go close, come on, am I right clicking? Yes, and uh, yeah, now I activated it. If you want to activate the other one, First of all, you, you stop the, the ball and then you go close to this villager here, where is it? And then all you have to do is to right click it and in this case, this trick here will happen. So guys, thank you all for watching this video until the end. Again, you will find this world here on my webpage. I, ho I really hope that you guys enjoyed this comment creation and I'll see you all guys in my next video. See you! Bye!